Good morning, good people. Do you know what day it is today? It's moving day. Let's go. Almost done. So we ended up taking a few stuff to the apartment it's the end of the day i am already back home i am quite tired from all the ups and downs four flights of the stairs but we still have more to go but we'll do that a different day now we have all the kitchen stuff to get up there which is ironic because i'm not gonna have a kitchen for a very long time but <laughs> still so yeah for today good night so I am on my way to the hardware store because I ran out of boxes and I still need to pack um, all my kitchen supplies mainly so I do need some more big boxes uh, so we're going in meanwhile just so that things are not super boring in my life I got a call from the plumber so basically he started doing things in the apartment to install everything the shower the toilet the heating and everything else and he didn't finish on one day, which is fine. Uh, but then he was supposed to come the next day and he didn't. And the following day I called him and apparently he's sick. And whatever he has, it seems to be really bad. I don't know if it's COVID, it might be just, you know, the flu, but whatever it is, it's going to knock him off for at least a few days, if not two weeks. And the thing is, the apartment needs to be vacated and clean, so I'm not sure I'm able to hold on for that long. Well, the thing is, from what he managed to do, I do have a working shower, I do have a toilet, and I do have a sink, but I do not have hot water or heating. So I am considering moving and living really badly, <laughs> at least for a few days. Not really ideal, especially when winter is basically upon us and it's starting to get colder especially at night i don't know i guess i'll have to hold on for the weekend and see how he is after it and hopefully he's fine and i can move into a hot apartment we'll see anyway yeah so it's ever changing the moving process so plumber is still sick it's been uh, a weekend uh, since he told me um, he said that he's feeling slightly better, but he is going to do the COVID test now. So we'll see if the results are negative. He'll come back to work after two or three days, depending on how he feels. And meanwhile, <laughs> what happened is that uh, my mattress that I ordered is also late. It was supposed to arrive within five to seven days. It's been longer. They don't know where it is. They said it didn't make it yet. I don't know. I wouldn't really care about the mattress uh, being late necessarily, except for the fact that meanwhile, as if things are not bad enough, my internet is not working um, or not working properly. Now that means that I'm not able to work because I work from home and I actually had to skip work today because of that and they took it out of my days off. So that's not something that we can make a routine. So. It would have been fine for me to go to my new apartment because I already had the net set up there and You know had I had a mattress I would have been able to just go there, you know and sleep there and just move the rest, you know Little by little or something um, But I don't have the mattress either which means I'm waiting for a friend right now to come to help me She has a car and we'll take the computers there and set it up there It's two computers. So that's why they're very heavy by the way they're from the company and what will happen is that i'll basically go to work there and then come back to the apartment until i get a mattress at least if not hot water so things are just breaking down by the day don't they it's just getting worse and worse all i wanted to do is move into my new apartment why is this happening why and the problems just keep on coming yay so we were the next day and I didn't end up moving my computers to the apartment yesterday because my friend who was supposed to help me couldn't come. And so right now this is 7.30 a.m. and I am waiting for a taxi to come pick me up for my first batch 
because these are multiple computers and I can't take them all together which is gonna end up costing me a lot of money and just wasting my entire morning but that's a different problem <laughs> but meanwhile I woke up to find out that the internet company also shut down my internet because I didn't pay even though I paid on Friday this is Tuesday on Friday and I sent them the receipt and it's really it's a bad internet company that's all I have to say at this point but yeah things are just getting more and more complicated and all I want to do is just move out and move in today I am just a mess because my internet provider also decided to disconnect my internet in total due to unpaying a bill which I did in advance and they still don't accept it and then they said that I have a signaling issue or whatever anyway I can't trust them because yesterday I lost a day of work because of that so I decided to move my workstation to the new apartment where I have an internet that is hopefully you know competent uh, and so you know I took multiple taxis today just to get in and uh, set everything up because it's multiple computers and yes and it's a rainy day and I'm about to start working soon this is hence the outfit and the sweat and the redness and the yes but the funniest part so these are two big computers that I have two monitors and the desk that I have here is the desk that was here before um, it was actually a dining table used as a dining table and for the time being since I have no money for furniture and no plans to furnish just yet I kept it I cleaned it up and I was like okay that'll that'll do it's just a place to put in you know the, the monitors on and look how weird it looks is that not the tiniest desk you've ever seen in your entire life? It's about to fall almost. Like it can't even hold anything. No, plumber is not back yet. But I just wanted to show you that uh, I picked up this closet from out of the balcony. And yeah, it's not gonna be here forever and ever, but I do need some temporary storage solution. So at least for a while, I'm gonna clean it up from bird poop. And yeah, and then we're gonna be good to go for for using it at least for a while. But I just wanted to show you something that they never tell you when you um, buy an apartment is that now it's going to be your responsibility to clean said bird poop. Just look at how much is left on my balcony. I'm having it unattended for almost a year basically and honestly even before I can say it was very attended it's on the paint box on this frame the the whatever it's called this shelf thing it was literally recently cleaned already full of bird poop this plant table oh full of bird poop my god Ugh cleaning it will be fun. I really wanted to do like a, a new empty apartment tour where I show you everything as it should be and everything is clean and nice and tidy. But I will do a messy apartment tour <laughs> and show you everything once I'm done, you know, just tidying around a little bit and just unpacking what I can unpack because I still have no furniture almost at all. Um, but we'll definitely do that. But so far, yeah, trying to make sense of everything. Uh, my mattress is expected to come soon and I have spoken with the plumbing company. So just to give you an idea, which I didn't know, after the plumber installs everything, which he finally did, you have to call the heating company that you bought the uh, heater from and they're supposed to install it and put it in function. So the plumber doesn't do it. Maybe it's some common sense thing. I didn't know it. And they say they can come on Friday. Today is Wednesday. So that's good for me. That's not a long time. That's not a month. So that's fine. So I'm in my now old apartment. And I thought I'd give you a little bit of a tour and show you around. And uh, show you why I actually chose to stay here all this time. Because I did give you a lot of crap about why I don't want to stay here. But here are a few really beautiful things that I found in this apartment that I wanted to show you. 
So first of all, let me take you to my walk-in closet. And yes, it's full of uh, spider webs and things because I haven't actually used it in a very long time. Here is the shoe rack. And yes, it's very dusty. And here was the walk-in closet. And the other side. And you may have guessed that the reason why I didn't want to use it is because it's actually under the stairs. As you can see, that part there I can't even reach. Um, and I don't want to know what's in there. Um, and it's literally under the stairs of the ground level. And this area, if you could smell through the camera, you'd have seen that it's really musty here. I have a dehumidifier. It didn't really do the job, honestly. And so at a certain point, I just decided to take all the clothes here, take them somewhere else, um, and save them from being uh, stinky and uh, ruined. I do have, uh, or did have, a lot of storage in this, uh, in this apartment. And here is the kitchen. I think it was a decent sized kitchen. Again, very dirty, but there was a lot of storage space. And I really like the decor of the home. These are things that remained from the old tenants. This is the door to the bathroom and I think it's great. And let's just turn on the light. Isn't this beautiful? I mean, really. I think this is incredible and they did it, by the way. They're really artistic. I really love it. And let us not forget my ceiling that has this, which also was made by the previous tenants. And I think this is really interesting. And a really easy DIY if you think about it. So yeah, you got a glimpse of my old apartment. What do you think? I mean, I think it was a really nice place to stay in, but the disadvantages were major and you know, for a long period of time, I don't think they were worth it. But I really like the fact that it felt homey and comfortable and, you know, storage was good, even though it's a one bedroom. And I mean, it was, it was you know, good memories. But now I'm off to create new memories. So guess what? The guy just came and my central heating works. So that means that I've got everything I need and it's just, you know, bringing the last few things and I can finally spend my first night here. Almost a year since I actually bought the apartment. <laughs> Incredible. So yeah, I'm very excited and um, that means I guess that I'm technically officially moved in. I mean, I know that things don't look amazing yet. Um, there's a lot of work, everything is pretty much in boxes and it'll take time before things actually start to look and feel like a home because you know you need money, you need to invest, you need to put time and effort into picking up the right stuff and it's gonna take time. I'm completely aware of it and I know that it'll be worth it in the end but I'm really excited that I'm making this step right now and moving to my own place. I know it's not much but it's home.